pawns. Esmeralda and Ikaja pick here for boss. Uh, I'm not feeling the Ikaja pick. It wasn't as effective yesterday. Um, it's still going to we're still going to have to take into consideration what resurgence is going to be picking for this Kaja. Of course, the divine judgment is still going to be a valuable factor uh, going to team fight, especially if uh, resurgence decides to pick up a a carry or a Kimmy for that matter. Pretty sure they're going to be leaning towards a carry pickup here. Going to be more effective. Uh, they are going to be opting to go for a Grok. Grok's not a bad choice. Uh, this pretty much finishes up the the tank and the side laners here. Jawhead and Thumbs is are going to be the shot in the side laners here. Grok's going to be rotating along with the core in the mid lane if that is going to be their strategy. A good ban here would be another tank. Atlas could be a good ban here for Resurgence. We'll have to see for ourselves. And yeah, an Atlas is going to be banned out. They can proceed. Uh, Bosker can now proceed to ban out the carry. Carry would be a a problem here for this lineup, simply because carry can shred through any tanks that uh, resurgence would, any tanks that their team would actually go for, especially just Esmeralda. But in a Lancelot being banned out, interesting. Mm, this is they're really denying the tank picks here for Bosker. I'm not feeling this Kufra ban there you go a Kagura is going to be picked up it's going to be sync on the Kagura Uranus is good carry is still open though to burst down uh, Uranus because of the uh, tree damage The Lunox is going to be the final pick here. Uh, what's going to round this up? Carry. Carry's going to be the, the perfect pick here for Resurgence. I don't see it being any other way unless they decide to go for a Grandeur. A Grandeur is going to be the final pick with that Retribution though. So looking at this lineup, it's it's a it's a little bit too beefy here. Uh, it's a little I mean it's a little bit too uh, too beefy here for the side of Resurgence. You're gonna be relying on Kagura to go online. Aside from that Granger, and I don't think uh, there would be any other way to go for this game. But we are gonna be diving straight into this best of two series, game number one. Let me just check a couple of things here for you guys. Hold on for a bit. Welcome to Mobile Legends. To we are going to be diving straight the into the game number one. Of this best of two series in the group stages of the Mitel International Championship Series 1. As expected, it is going to be a three-man mid lane here. There is a bit of a scuffle over at the top side that is going to protect the Granger from uh, farming up. But this allows Esmeralda to really farm up in the bottom lane. Rotations are now going to start coming in. Good invades though by uh, Resurgence to try to deprive this Esmeralda of any cash, of any uh, gold, and Resurgence. Why just get spotted out? Buff is going to be secured, and they're going to be running away. Uh, pretty unfortunate it went to KZP instead of uh, Ia. But there you go, there goes the first blood. Kaiser secures the first blood onto KZP. Kind of oversaved his uh, welcome there. That was a waste of a red buff to be honest of, a, of an orange buff I mean Lithomancer a bit of a contestion 
no contest whatsoever. Meanwhile, this is going to be another uh, another fight for the uh, purple buff. No one uh, invades going to be happening here for boss Kerr. Looking how uh, Resurgence is going to be playing here, I don't think they are going to be expending a lot of their strategies throughout this entire day. They're, they're going to be playing four straight series uh, today, and that's going to be a, a problem in terms of their fatigue, in terms of their stamina, and the, the strats that they can go for. Crab Gold is going to be secured by Jason. Good seal on that. Turtle is going to be the next uh, objective point here for a minute. And we have to see any pushes here. There goes the initiate there onto Sakura and to Samion. Flicker is going to be onto Sino, I mean. Flicker is going to be expended. By Sakura over the top lane. Yeah, Sana is going to get pushed back here. They're going to try to force Sana back so that they can have a good foothold here on the turtle. But we're not going to be uh, discounting the fact that Resurgence would also try to take this turtle away from them. Sync, with, uh, as long as he reaches level 4, will be able to go for a yin-yang overturn and just completely contest the turtle. Possibly steal it too. Grok's still there as well. Help them out. A bunch of other invades happening here. You know, the name of the game is all about depriving your opponent the ability the ability to spike up in the early game. It's pretty crucial for Granger to actually uh, get most of it, get at least one item up and going. Same thing for uh, Lakes. But as I say that, there goes the Divine Judgment onto KZP. Getting, uh, getting sacrificed once again. Not really converting the uh, Wild Charge into anything else. But they are going to be starting up the Turtle. They are running this without a Grok just yet they should be resetting this to be honest they're going to be completely surrounded in just a few sakura gonna go in and the turtle is gonna be secured by uh, jason and he just needs to capitalize on the fact that he does have the turtle buff they can start going in for the pushes or they can start initiating the team fights but in terms of initiating the fights themselves uh resurgence is going to be relying heavily on the kagura and on the grok and speaking of which Scott is going to be in a tight spot here over the mid lane. Won't be able to uh, survive this inev inevitable push. Off cam kill there by Sino onto uh, Leah. Am I saying that right, chat? Is it Leah? Let me know. Raptor Machete being picked up. Demon Hunter Sword should be uh, next in line here. There goes a flicker into the Divine Judgment and a Blazing Duet. On to Jason. Jason falls down. KZP going to try to look for Lakes. Not going to happen. There goes the ejection. On to Scott. Scott is going to go down. One for one trade and a good disengage by both of these teams. They're not overstaying their welcome. Resurgence knows how uh, important the group stages here is. They do not have any points as of yet in uh, their group. So they're going to have to win as, as much games as they can here. As I say that, Falling Star Moon onto Leah. Uh, there goes a Carter on Inferno, but I don't think it's going to be enough. He's going to get taken down. KZP is going to be diving in as well, but a bit too late on that rotate. Boss Kerr slowly leading the uh, the game. A 2,000 gold lead five minutes into the game. That's uh, more than enough to uh, work with. Yeah, we're going to be uh, keeping it chill, by the way. We're going to be waiting for the big fights that can really uh, change the game. This is something that we can look forward to. Divine Judgment is available here by Scott. A uh, good target would be Jason or Sink, and they need to burst them out as fast as they can. Turtle is going to be the next objective here. This time, Boss Kerr is going to be starting the fight. We're going to try and play his shield. Falling Star Moon onto three. Sync is low on HP. Not really going to be following up. Following it up. Lake's going to be stealing a bit of that attack speed there for them to start going in for the turtle. Turtle is has to be contested here. 
And it is going to be secured by Lake Samson. Samion, I mean. Top side, though. They're going to be catching Sana. Sana does take down one. He gets Divine Judgment, and he, that is going to be a quick trade. Demon Hunter Sword, 6 minutes 33 in the game. Lightning Truncheon as well here for Sakura. Athena's Shield here for KZP. Slowly, the item spikes are happening, but this mid lane turret is going to go down. That's going to be an opening in the mid lane jungle because as soon as you start pushing in the mid lane turret, which is the mid lane is the most important lane to uh, secure, it opens up the jungle completely and you can ro freely roam from top to bottom. That's something that Resurgence would be uh, happy about. They won't be happy about the 4,000 gold lead that uh, Boss Kerr currently has. So they need to equalize that by securing more objectives. And as I say that, Boss Kurt, they're going to start uh, shoving in this bottom lane. Scott is going to get spotted out. Going to be backing off for a bit. Overextension here by Kaiser just to shove out the lane. They're trying... What they're trying to do here, Boss Kurt, they're trying to uh, not give Resurgence any opportunities. As I say that, the Divine Judgment and the Falling Star Moon will secure the kill onto Sana. Saint's going to be there. Yin Yang Overturn is available, but not going to be committing it just yet. Kaiser, deep in enemy, deep behind enemy lines. Trying to look for an opportunity to split push. Kaiser also rocking that 8G lifestyle with the Execute Uranus. But yeah, Resurgence needs to equalize the, map, the foothold here. It's not looking good in terms of map priority because all the lanes are being pushed towards the side of Resurgence. They need to start pushing. Turtle's going to be another objective. Lakes will be able to secure this without any problems. And this is a good job by uh, boss Kurt. they're zoning the rest of resurgence here they really cannot answer this so the turtle is going to be secured as i say that ejection onto kaiser kaiser is going to be low on hp but as i say that sana sana will get quickly bursted down it's a 5v4 they can pretty much fight this they're not they're going to be playing it safe they're gonna just shove out the lanes try to shove out try to secure the top lane turret actually uh, would be a good objective to take Just so that they can start shoving towards the uh, inhibitor turret in the bottom lane and then they uh, Resurgence won't be able to defend Properly here if that would be the case Jason HP is dropping danger too low. There goes a the brilliance Takes him out Kaiser With another kill for himself and top lane turret is being sieged up. There goes the Divine Judgment onto Sink. Sink is quickly burst down by Sakura. It's just going to be KZP. Next in line for the death. Wild Charge is out of there. Does not want a piece of that a boss Kerr Wrath. Top lane turret is going to go down. And just like what I said, pressure is going to be on here. And they boss Kerr is doing the same thing that they did yesterday against Onic PH. Guardian's Barrier there. Not really enough to deter a push from coming in. Just stop that uh, cannon minion from pushing in. Mid lane turret is going to go down. Kaiser's going to be pushing this as well. Let's have a look at the items and see what is going on here. Alright, Necklace of Durant's Lightning Truncheon there for Sakura. Scott has the Athena's Shield and the Immortality, so he can dive. He can really die for days. And just a Raptor Machete Blade of Despair here for now. For Granger. For Jason. Lord, resurrecting soon. Lord is going to be the next objective. And already, the members of Bosker here, they are zoning everyone out. That's going to be easy. This is going to be an easy job for Lakes. He's not going to need any help from everybody. So that's where Esmeralda is going to uh, come in. Just uh, provide a lot of distraction here. KZP tries to push in. That's going to be the Lord. Lord's going to be pushing in over at the top side. And that's the purple buff disappearing from the hands of Resurgence. And again, this is how uh, most of the fights are lost. As long as you control the rotations, control the map, 
in a way where you're controlling how the enemy team is moving, you're going to be winning the game. And that is exactly what Bosker is doing here. They're making sure that, A, they're not allowing Resurgence to secure some of the crucial objectives here, which is going to be the Lord and the level 2 Lord, for that matter, later on, the Luminous Lord. And B, they're just depriving Resurgence of any form of income here because they are taking all of the all of the gold away, all of the buff camps away. And the Lord's going to be marching in. This is going to be a perfect opportunity for uh, Bosker to siege up this bottom lane and the mid lane. Top lane uh, is going to get uh, taken care of by the Lord. Falling Star Moon not really bursting anybody out, but that's going to be enough to force them back. Just only a matter of time before Bosker actually secures this game. They are going to be sieging the mid lane. Lord's going to fall down, but it doesn't matter because this is a minion way pushing in in the middle. KZP not really much. Just finally getting the uh, Queen's Wings. Blazing Duet and the Wild Charge is not going to be enough to stop this push. And that is going to be it. Game number one will be going to Boss Kerr. That is going to be... Game number one in this best of two series. Bosker will uh, secure that game one uh, victory.